Colden and Tuies. Here's Greg and Pete. Welcome back to Lang Park. Well, New South Wales have uh, come back onto the field. Here's the restart of play by Gary Belcher. Come on, Blues. Let's put some pep back into this game. And uh, here's a strong run to start off by Sirenen, who had a dreadfully quiet... He was quiet as a big church mouch in the, in the first half. And done now, travelling forward. He's knocked down just outside his own quarter line uh, by Martin Bella. Back now it goes to Mario Fennick across to Cartwright. Cartwright tries to hit it up. Langer's over the top to make sure he couldn't slip the pass away with Bobby Linder down low. Fennick gives it back now to Farrah. Farrah gets his kick down the centre of the ground, turning Belcher around, forcing him back some 11 metres out from his own goal line. He's got McIndoe down there with him, but Laurie Daly very quickly down to pull Belcher to ground, 18 metres out from the Maroons' goal line. McIndoe from the back of the ruck tries to go away. Bradley Clyde's got hold of him and pulls him to ground, 15 metres away from the Queensland goal line. The ball now played back to Linda across into the arms of Big Mal Meninga travelling forward and carries the football right up towards his own quarter. Three blues over the top to put him away up the plat. Back it goes now to Kirid Walters. Walters back on, must have been in the head bin. So he goes across field and eventually offloading the pass that time to Miles, who's up the plat. Again back to Walters, out this time to Martin Bella. Steps away from the first tackle, but eventually pulled down by Dunn. Walters again at dummy half. Gives it back now to Gary Belcher, then into the arms of Vorton to kick us downfield. And that's a great kick by Vorton. But Gary Jack beautifully taking the ball, 30 out from his own goal line. Dan Stain's up there. They call him the axe down at Cronulla. And he's put Gary Jack to ground 30 metres out from the Blues goal line. Now, Laurie Daly from the back of the ruck tries to step one or two, but again knocked to the ground. We'll play it eight metres short of the halfway line. Back it goes to Fennick. Good pass across to Dunn. Dunn finds himself in a similar position. Back to Fennick again. Then out to Daly. Changes hands. Langer's got hold of him in company with Bobby Linder, and he's pulled down on the halfway line. We'll play it to Terry Lamb. Lamb gives it out now to Gavin Miller. Miller was trying to turn the ball back outside, and he does too now to Ferguson. Ferguson's had the ball knocked out of his possession, and Queensland diver it with Martin Bella but again the Blues go forward the knock on has been ruled by the referee scrum to go down 40 out now from the Queensland goal line. Greg this New South Wales side don't know who's got to go dummy half where on the field I think it's all too complex for them Mario Fennick and Terry Lamb virtually shoving each other out of the way to get the dummy half you know it just hasn't worked for New South Wales sideline eye Tony Peters. Yes Peter Wally Lewis is back on the field he had two minutes to serve New South Wales dressing room was like a morgue at half time they are gone they missed 12 tackles in the first half. Okay, and Lewis back on the field, so it's 13 against 13. Nothing happened when he was off. Queensland scored 18 points in nine minutes in the first half, and that's uh, really put them in the driver's seat. They're cruising. New South Wales in possession. Can the Blues get an early try and put some life into this game here at Lang Park? Clyde now plays it back to Fenny. Goes across to Gavin Miller. A wide ball that time to Sirenen. Sirenen can't go past one or two, and Miles is down low. Vorton over the top. Again, it's back with Fenny. Gives it across to Gavin Miller. He loses sight of the ball, but eventually regains possession and easily pulled down by Bobby Linder. He's up again to play it. Fenny get dummy half across. It goes now to Dunn. Dunn can't get away from the defence of Dan Staines, and he's 35 metres out with one tackle left to go to the Blues. New South Wales are just, are just slow in comparison to Queensland. There's a kick through by Lamb. Beautifully picked up on the fly by Gary Belcher. Read it well. New South Wales kicking down the centre of the field, and Queensland are very much awake to it. Big crowd here, and they're loving it in Queensland here. Lang Park in Brisbane, and it's all Queensland over New South Wales. Wales. No ginger in this New South Wales side. No stick whatsoever. Bella again charging just outside his own quarter line. Pulled down by Fennick. It's played to Wallace across now to Lewis. Lewis very strong but Bradley Clyde this time going low to take Lewis to ground. He plays it back again to Wallace. Out now to Vorton again. Oh, Vorton charges straight in to the tackle of Cartwright. Wallace again a dummy half. Back now to Gene Miles and Miles puts a tower of a kick way downfield. Bouncing over the head of Jack. Takes it on his own quarter line. Oh, he steps Langer that time. Tries to come down the centre of the ground. Nearly stepped away from another one too. It was Staines to pull him down 30 out from the New South Wales goal line. Well, Queensland are going uh, a long way tonight in this first game to getting the inside running to just completely dominating the Australian side to go to New Zealand later in the year. Not many of these Blues will be in the side. They've made mistake after mistake and it's a puerile effort from the Blues tonight. I don't want to sit here and knock New South Wales, but they are playing like a team of strangers out there at the moment and I think we've got to put Eddingshausen, Alexander, Lazarus and Mortimer onto the field pretty quickly. I mean there's nothing to lose. They've got to make up some ground. Oh and Lewis again beautiful pass back to Langer but Gary Jack's up there to pull him down. He held the pass up as long as he could 
Now it's played this time back to Bobby Linder. He makes valuable yards too before he's stopped just outside the New South Wales quarter line. We'll get up the play it back to Kieran Wallace. Wallace decides to go on his own. Now he offloads to Langer. Beautifully takes it. He pops one out, but Gavin Miller takes possession for the Blues. 30 metres out from the New South Wales goal line. Four minutes gone in the second half. No change to the halftime score. Queensland 18 lead New South Wales nil. Chris Johns in possession for the Blues. 32 metres away from his own goal line. Again, Finnegan dummy half across to Sirenen. Sirenen tries to step over Martin Bella did that, but again, he's pulled to the ground by Bob Linder. He'll play it again back to Mario Fennick, who offloads out now to Cartwright. Goes straight back into the pack of forwards. No one's running to the gap, Pete. They're running to the man. They certainly are, Greg. It, uh, it's not good. Terry Lamb out wide now to Farrah. Andrew Farrah. Farrah steps, but uh, easily picked up by the Queensland defence. And Little Walters, the hooker over there. Gets it back now to Lamb, and Lamb again puts the kick downfield. Far too hard, straight out, over on the full, but a penalty given to... No, uh, yeah, it was the last, so we've got the changeover of possession immediately on the halfway. Now Wallace gives it across to Vorton. Vorton comes inside one, pull down two metres over the halfway line. Greg, Queensland slow New South Wales up when they're defending, but everything they do when they've got the ball has got crispness about it. They're very quick in what they do. They're trying to get to their feet quickly, and they're running onto the football. It switches up the blind side of good. They know what they're doing. New South Wales theme song tonight is Strangers in the Night. Now we've got Vorton getting up to his feet, back to Wallace, goes across to Langer, out now to Lewis. What's he going to do this time? He's taken by Sirenen, but it's still the strength to offload back to Gary Belcher, who was up in support. Cartwright goes low to pull him down, five metres over the halfway line. Wallace again, back to Langer. Langer down the blind side. He's trying to set some Someone up out wide, but he can't as Lamb comes in over the top to pull him down. He'll play it now back to Gene Miles at dummy half. He sends it across to Lewis. Lewis now kicks downfield uh, towards the corner of the New South Wales into the ground. It'll go touch in goal that time. So we'll go back to the quarter line. Yes, and Michael Hancock and uh, also the uh, the other winger tonight, Alan McIndoe, making every post a winner here. Gee, I like the look of Hancock. He is an exciting prospect. He's got the green and gold of Australia written all over him, and I think he could be our best winger in the game for a few years to come. Fennick now placing it on the quarter line. Again, the tap behind into the oh. arms. Of, yeah, I know it's very hard to understand that, but it was given out to Dunn, and he has crashed to the ground. He'll get Greg, up to play it. Greg, the New South Wales players are frightened to try anything. Here's Fennick with a good yeah, run. Yeah, and a good run, strong run at his two, but again, beautifully pulled to ground. A great tackle around the legs by Bobby Linder. Now it's back to Ferguson. He takes off from the back of the ruck. He dummies, goes back inside. Gary Belcher picks him off. He'll play it now to Dunn. Dunn gives it out to Gavin Miller down the blind side. Has Daly with him. Miller steps away from one. Gets away from Lewis. Now he gives it out to Daly. Daly's got support inside. Gives it to Clyde. Clyde loses the ball. And again we see Queensland coming up with a bloody thing. 18 metres out from their own goal line. Bought now a quick pass. And he goes up towards his own quarter line. And he's knocked to the ground inside it. Gee whiz. Up now to play it. Wallace again a dummy half, across it goes to Miles. Oh, Miles has stopped with a beautiful tackle, Peter, that time by young Bradley Clyde. But Wallace again from the back of the ruck gives it to Langer. Langer takes off, can't get past Paul Sirenen, and he's knocked to the ground 35 metres out from the Queensland goal line. Queensland standing deep, running onto the ball, and uh, a lot more positive... A lot more positive running from this uh, this Queensland side. And uh, that's the difference between the two teams today. New South Wales waiting for things to happen and not running with any great gusto and enthusiasm. But uh, Queensland certainly providing plenty of that. Sideline eye, Tony Peters. Yes, Pete, I think it'll be free beer at Chris Johns' pub tomorrow on this performance. Yeah, he, uh, he certainly uh, will be uh, shouted well and truly. He's uh, got to cop the flak, Chris Johns. He lives in Brisbane. He's a uh, member of the Brisbane Broncos but plays for New South Wales because... That's where he started his senior career with the St George Club. But uh, he'll be totally frustrated, wishing he was on the other side tonight, along with most of his Brisbane Bronco teammates. Hasler up now to play it back to Bradley Clyde. Gives it across now to Fennick. Fennick tries to straighten up the attack and go forward. Can't slip his pass away. And he's pulled down with one left to go. 40 out now from the Queensland goal line. Up into the dummy half position again, Gavin Miller. From that there, back of the ruck, he puts a high kick up. Going back to take the ball, McIndoe and Belcher. It's come off one or two, oh, and again, we couldn't pick the ball up. Terry Lamb, six tackles ruled, and Gary Belcher takes it away. Well, they've had plenty of opportunities, the Blues, but the bounce of the ball, and it's just not their night tonight. It hasn't been their night from midway through the first half when 
Queensland started their onslaught and really grabbed this game right around the throat. There's a penalty from the New South Wales captain, and uh, that is from Gavin Miller. Sheer frustration now sitting in this New South Wales side. Tony Peters, any chance of any uh, changes there on the sideline? They've got to do something. Peter, they're talking about it now. Mick Suter is talking to a couple of the reserves now. I asked Mick Cranon at half time. We must see some changes, and he just shook his head and said, I don't think so. Okay, well, Glenn Lazarus and and Greg Alexander, Brandy Alexander, can he do something for New South Wales? He's a brilliant attacking player. Oh, look at Bella. He strides away like a colossus up the centre of the rucks. Isn't he having a game? Walters now again from the back of the ruck does exactly the same thing, but he's pulled down that time. We'll get up there to Platt. Back it'll go to Bobby Linda. Linda in the back of the ruck again takes off. He looked back for Staines who lobbed on the scene, but he couldn't get his pass away. Just outside the Blues quarter line. It goes to Langer to Lewis. Langer on the wrap around. He turns it inside to Gary Belcher. Finds a couple of holes again. Pops it up for Staines. Out wide now it goes to Gene Miles. He turns it back to Bella. Bella again. Out to Hancock and Hancock pull down. Ten metres out from the New South Wales goal line. Up the plat. Wall is a dummy half, Lewis again, there he is. In that quarter, he gives it across to Belcher, back to Lewis, makes the extra man for one or two outside, turns the ball back inside to Miles, over the top to Meninga, and again they score. What a great try, and again, Wally Lewis. He is a genius inside the corner, and look at the players go around him. Wally handled twice, and the Queenslanders, give me a high five, boys, they say, as they really give it to New South Wales. A brilliant try by Chicken George. Malmeninga, but inside the corner it was a master again, Wally Lewis handling twice, getting away impossible passes and just toying with New South Wales Mark Bella, what a game he's having Mamma Mia, says Mrs Bella, as she really celebrates on shore, it's a magnificent Queensland performance 22 to nil on the Mitsubishi Electric scoreboard and even the Queenslanders are feeling sorry for New South Wales. Sideline eye Tony Peters. Yeah Peter, the horror night's going to win for John Cartwright and Bradley Clyde. They've both been replaced by Greg Alexander and Glenn Lazarus. But spare a thought for these two guys. Too much for these two. Big occasion for them. There certainly was and what promised so much for them and they're trooping off the field now. Bitterly disappointed. John Cartwright is... Uh, Really looking disappointed as he makes his way to the sideline, and uh, that's a that's a big blow to him and young Bradley Clyde, the two young fellows in the debut boys in the side, but too much for them. 22 to nil. Can Meninga convert his own brilliant try? Well, just outside the quarter line, 10 metres in from touch. We're right behind it, but it's just going to go. Oh, way to the left hand side, no goal. Three out of four for Mal Meninga. Queensland 22, lead New South Wales nil. And any thoughts that uh, the New South Welshman had of a comeback in the second half have been knocked for six in the 11th minute. And again, it was Wally Lewis. And another change for New South Wales now. Andrew Eddingshausen on, Andrew Farris sacked. So Gibson has gone bang, crush him. Thank you very much to Andrew Farrer, to John Cartwright, and to Bradley Clyde. Into the game comes Eddingshausen, Greg Alexander and Greg Lazarus, Glenn Lazarus and Chris Mortimer. Well, I don't know why he's not there too. They might as well go the whole hop. Well, Alexander in for the first tackle on Nakando after the recommencement, but again, Gene Miles creating havoc. 18 metres out from his own goal line. Pulled down that time by Lamb. He'll play it. It goes across the wall. Is out now to Stain. Stain's up to the Brisbane quarter line and knocked to the ground. Again, it's Wallace giving it across to Martin Bella, crashing straight into the, the um, Blues line of defence, taking three to ground. He gets up the plate, back to Wallace. He gives it out now to Vorton once again. And don't the crowd love Fatty Vorton as he charges into the Blues' the defensive line. Knocked to the ground, 32 metres out from the line. Wallace, a long pass back to Lewis. Lewis again, great, uh, great kick downfield, this time taken by Gary Jack. He goes across field, but he's easily picked up and put down about 31 metres out from his own goal line. He's played behind a badly beaten side tonight, yeah. Gary Jack, but he hasn't played like the number one fullback in the world, Gary Belcher, at the other end of the field. Has uh, certainly had a magnificent game, but his forwards have been going forward. New South Wales forwards, uh, and I'm not speaking after the ball, you know, they they really weren't up to this tonight, and that they haven't measured up in any aspect. Getting up there to play at Daly. Back to Jack, he gives it across now into the arms of Chris Johns, charging forward, but he's taken with one tackle left to go. They won't be giggling back home, but, you know, Steve Roach 
should be in this side. So should have been Peter Kelly. And a little bit of ginger should have been in this New South Wales side. There's been none tonight. Not at all. They've been Tom Thumbs. The other mob's been bungers. Now we've got Lewis after the changeover. He plays it back to Vorton. Vorton again going forward up towards the halfway line. Stopped eight metres short of it. He'll get up the plaid back to Kieran Wallers. You're right about the bangers. There's no doubt about that. The bangers and the fizzers, you should have said. Dan Staines in possession of the ball, just short of the halfway line. Bangers are sausages. <laughs> they played like it. I always, who did? New they South did. Wales. Yes, they certainly have. And now again, Belcher drops it off the end of the toe. McIndoe going downfield. And Ferguson just getting to the football. Gets up to have another go. But eventually he's knocked down 28 metres out from the New South Wales goal line. Even Ferguson is normally very reliable. Has had an ordinary game. I, I really can't pick out a New South Welshman that has done himself any good here tonight in this uh, display here at Lang Park. Sideline I, Tony Peters. Yeah, I can, Peter. I've got a thought for Mario Fennick. He's tried very hard tonight. I'll leave him out of a lot of this criticism. But roll on full time, for heaven's sake. Yeah, well, it, uh, it's, uh, it's going to come, but it's a long way off. It's 25 minutes away. Is it? For New South Wales, oh. and it's 22 to nil on the Mitsubishi Electric scoreboard. Des Hasler, oh, a pass there to Dunn. He put it down, it's picked up by Lewis. He immediately gives it out wide to Tony Curry and Boykin e motor. Now it goes out to Hancock. He's heading for the line. Has to stop, slows down to come back inside to Vorton. Vorton, can he keep it alive? He's put down on his back inside the Blues quarter line. They're giving us a right serve. I'm here to tell you that. Lewis, a dummy half. Langer now has it. He sends it across into the arms of Bobby Linda. Linda fends off one pathetic tackle. Pathetic tackle again. Linda heads for the line. Turns it back inside. Oh, and Maniga over again. Oh, this is a hiding. I am sick. I am sick. Brilliant stuff by Bobby Linda. Ah, oh, great try by Linda. And it was Mal Meninga. And the smile on the face of Chicken George tells it all. This is an absolute... Brilliant performance by Queensland. Linda pushed off a pathetic attempt to tackle by Paul Sirenin. And Sirenin never got near him. And he careered away, popped up the pass. And there's the difference. All the Queenslanders can give good passes under pressure. And he gave the pass there to Mal Meninga. And the man that played his first game back in 1980 in State of Origin when he was playing for Souths in Brisbane is really ripping New South Wales apart. Two tries and three goals from four attempts. And it's 26 to nil on the Mitsubishi Electric scoreboard. Sideline eye, Tony Peters. And what about a big raspberry for those dumbbell Queensland selectors who didn't want him in the side? Yeah, unbelievable. Meninga had to be put in the side by Wally Lewis and Arthur beats it. Can you believe it? Two tries and three goals. The people back home in Sydney will be wishing that they left Meninga out of it, but not to be. Chicken George has run right. Chicken George. Mal Meninga, the same man, 24 metres out from the Blues goal line. Good pass by Bobby Linda. That was a beauty. Good, strong burst too by Linda. Now he will try to put this one over. He's 15 metres in from the touchline. And the buzz again up from the crowd to support Meninga. If he puts this one over, there'll be an mighty roar go up as he comes in now. He's got it high. What's it going to do? Waved away to the right-hand side this time. Three out of five for Meninga. Queensland have scored five tries to nil all five tries by their brilliant back line the players that new south wales can't handle at all langer lewis and meninga have really paved the way in the backs but it's been a great effort up front none better than the big fella martin bella none better either than paul vorton they've really matched it tonight they've been the two linchpins of this queensland pack i can't split them fatty vorton has played magnificently and so has martin bella here's linda who's having a big game yeah, and a good step. He stepped in Alexander, but eventually he's pulled down outside his own quarter line by Fennick. It's played back to Wallace. He gives it across this time to Miles. Alexander in over the top to bring Miles to ground. Playing it outside his own quarter line. Again out to Wallace. He gives it across to Martin Bella. Bella charging forward. And again, it's left to Dunn and Surinan to try to pull the big mountain man down. He'll get up to play the ball. But a penalty again to Queensland. Too long, he said, for Paul Dunn over the man in possession of the ball. Paul Dunn's had an awful second half so far. And... Uh... It's no good arguing with the referee, Dunny. It's uh, it's just gone, mate. Just get in there and keep going and hold your head up high. Sideline eye, Tony Peters. Louis Mortimer, Chris Mortimer's going to be going on on the birthday boy. Paul Sirenin will come off. OK, so Paul Sirenin, sacked on his birthday, replaced by uh, Chris Mortimer coming on for New South Wales. Here's Bella. He says, let me take the ball up at you, New South Wales. And why not? They've hardly put him down tonight. He's just made another 10 metres. Yeah, don't tell me there's no place in this game for specialist front rowers. Karen Wallace makes a break. He picks up more in support, Gary Jack's there and he's just pulled down, 
He's done well. He's kept his feet up so he didn't go over the touchline. It's played now to Staines. Goes across now to Langer. Long pass out to Lewis. Comes off the left foot. Tries to go back inside. And Des Hasler goes around the champion's legs to pull him to ground. Greg, Wallace... this, this side, you know, has really got to be revamped. I mean, they just can't. They can't match Queensland. They'll get another hiding back in Sydney yep. if they uh, if they don't change this side. Roach has got to come in. So has Kelly and uh, maybe Ian Roberts. They've got to put some front rowers in this side. Tony Carey getting it across to Hancock. I agree with you, Peter. Hancock now going to be pulled down 15 metres out from the New South Wales goal line. He'll get up the plate again back to Langer who sends it across to Mel Meninga. Meninga fends off one, tries to push another one, but gets his pass to Lewis out wide to Belcher. Beautifully taken. Now it's going across into the arms of Miles. He gives it out to Bobby Linder, and they've gone over for another try. This is absolute mayhem. Yes, Bobby Linder becomes the first forward for Queensland to score. The backs have done their job. Now the forward, just quick hands out wide. Oh, Arthur Beetson must be laughing. He must be giggling, the big fellow. The publican from Sydney, Yari Dahl smiles. Arthur Henry Beetson, born in Roma in Queensland, and what a night for Queenslanders tonight. Bobby Linder, who set up the last try, finished off that one. Beautiful pass from Gene Miles and our Queensland. What a mighty performance. Going off now, a very sad sight is Paul Sirinan, the birthday boy. And uh, he's got a present from his teammates, an autographed copy of, uh, of all the team members framed by the New South Wales side. There's only one signature of someone not in the team. Would you believe it's little Kylie Minogue? And Kylie, I think, would have done better than some of the New South Wales forwards tonight. She's not big, but she's got plenty of heart, and she would have kept going. OK, this kick from Meninga, just outside the quarter line, 25 metres away. And I thought I saw some blue selectors just leaving the ground, as a matter of fact. Unbelievable, Greg. Unbelievable. This is an absolute massacre. Yep. 30 to nil. 10 metres in from the touchline. Meninga comes in. But he's going to put... Oh, it's hit the bar and it's gone over. They're blessed. They're blessed. Somebody's up there shining above them. Nobody up there, Greg. They're all out there. 13 Queenslanders who stand mighty tall tonight. This is an absolute blitzing. One of the... It, they're looking at a shutout and the biggest scoreline in State of Origin history in the margin. 32 points the difference. Can you believe it? And some people in New South Wales gave Queensland six and a half start. Can you believe it? Sideline I, Tony Peters. No, I can't, Pete, but I can tell you what. They're aiming for 50. The word has gone out. 50 points. 50 points. How humiliating. Bobby Linder, the try, converted off the upright by Mal Meninga, and Meninga's got four out of six and two tries, and what a mighty performance by him. What a mighty performance by all the Queenslanders tonight. Good. New South Wales, you know, I'd rather praise Queensland than give it to the Blues. They're going to get it enough um, when they walk off the field here. How humiliating. There's got to be wholesale changes. Langer now giving it out to Staines. Staines fends off um, one or two, but Hasler... Desperately dragging him to the ground. You can't bring kids here, Greg, and expect them to go grow into men. No, they you can't. can't do it. The kick now charged down by New South Wales off the boot of Lewis and in possession now of Terry Lamb. He quickly plays it back to Alexander, gives it across to Dunn. Dunn has a look back inside, had Fennick with him, couldn't offload the pass, and he's pulled down 18 metres out from the Queensland goal line. Back to Fennick, he gives it out to Gary Jack. He bounces off one 10 metres away from the line now. Can they keep him out, the Maroons? <laughs> Can they what? Back now it goes to Alexander, minus a boot to Terry Lamb. Oh, Lewis comes in, he goes over the top of Lamb, falls off him. As Lamb gets up there to play it back to Alexander, it goes across now to Lazarus, and Lazarus charges forward. One tackle left to go, six metres out from the Queensland goal line. We need a few more Lazaruses that can walk on water. Oh, and it's a try to Eddinghausen. He's gone through off the kick, and Eddinghausen has gone through, so the shutout couldn't happen. And look at Lewis. Lewis is complaining. The grubber kicked through, and Lewis is saying he was mild offside. Look at Lewis screaming at the referee. He doesn't want New South Wales to even score a point while he is going berserk. And uh, his teammates say, come on, don't worry about it. He's patted on the back there by Meninga, and Lewis is absolutely fuming. That's the difference, Greg. They don't want to give us one inch. Yeah, don't want to give us an inch. And uh, there's New South Wales scoring a try. Grubber kick through. Eddingshausen in for the try. And thank heavens, that's, uh, that stops the shutout. Well, Lewis going right off his crumpet back in the in goal at his own players too. 
but he gave um, the referee a gob full. The referee turned his back and walked away. And uh, I can't say any more on that because uh, I think what the referee cop there was uncalled for, but then the referee has the power to act. And Mickey Stone, I'm sorry, mate. Now we've got this kick to come as he comes in now. And there it goes, sailing over the dot for an extra two points. Well, New South Wales finally on the board. It took a long time. It took 64 minutes of the game. Laurie Daly converts the try, scored by the replacement centre, Andrew Eddingshausen, in the 64th minute of the game. The scoreline here, the Mitsubishi scoreline, an embarrassing one still for New South Wales. Queensland, 32, New South Wales, 6. Sideline line, Tony Peters. What can you say, Peters? It's out of control. They've now got to get the 56 to get the 50 margin. Yeah. Yeah, they certainly do, but uh, they look most capable to me. No doubt about it. Game underway again. Right back now into the arms of Johns. He carries it out from his own in goal. He trips over, would you believe? Nobody near him to tackle him, but he's up there to play it. Back it goes now to um, Dunn. Dunn trying to go forward, but he's going to be wrapped up on the far side by Staines. 18 metres away now from the New South Wales goal line. The Blues in possession. And Fennick supporting Dunn as he got up to play the ball forward. Put down by Martin Bella just outside the Blues quarter line. Fennick again a dummy half. He sends one across to Lazarus. Lazarus tries to go forward. He'll get up now to play it again back to Fennick. Gives it across now to Gavin Miller. Miller charges into the tackles of the Queensland forwards. One left to go. They're 30 metres away from the New South Wales goal line. Back to Fennick. He gives it across now to Terry Lamb. And again, Lamb puts a high kick up. It's going nowhere other than straight up. Ah, oh, but again, Belcher goes up to take it. Five short of the halfway line. Greg, we said before the game that New South Wales would kick, kick down the centre of the field, but I really think they should alter that now and go for the sidelines. But they appear almost robot-like, New South Wales, and nothing doing. Sideline eye, Tony Peters. Peter, there's more interest in a disgruntled New South Wales supporter who was just pelted with cans and escorted out of the ground by the police. He's had enough. OK, he's gone home. I don't blame him. He'll probably walk. And uh, warming up on the sideline is Dale Shearer for the Queensland side. No, it's not. It's uh, Gary Coin. Coyne. Now we've got uh, the kick from general play. Ferguson going back to field this football. And he had a bit of interference there from Gary Jack. A man trying to get to him was Hancock and Mackendo. But then Lewis up there very quickly to put Ferguson down. He plays it now to Gary Jack. Goes across now to Mortimer. Mortimer running across the face of his own goal until he comes to Vorton. And Vorton scrambles him 10 out from his own goal line. Gone across now to John. Steps away from one. Alfie Lang has got hold of him. And Langer pulls him to ground just inside his own quarter line. Mario Fennick now a dummy half. Plenty of runners on the outside. Dunn willing to take it forward. But again, to no avail. And he's pulled down. Stains over the top. Langer's in there also. Has done desperately trying to get up the plate. Back it goes to Fennick. Across now to Alexander. Good pass across to Terry Lamb. A cutout pass now to Daly. Daly tries to go back inside. He does. Lewis has got him. He offloads now to Hasler. Hasler out now to Fennick. Fennick keeps it alive to Mortimer. And Langer's up there to put Mortimer down to the tears of the crowd. He plays it to Dunn to Alexander. Wide it goes now to Johns. Johns around one. But the tackle of Tony Curry puts him out of business too. And we've got a player down. I think it's Ferguson, Peter, isn't it? Yes, it is, Greg. Up now. Queensland in possession of the football. And it's Big Martin Bella pulled down just outside the Blues quarter line. Kirid Wallace across now to Vorton. Vorton goes over the top of Gavin Miller. But uh, it's stolen by Hasler. Now it's gone across the lamb. Out to Weddingshausen. Tries to step away from one. Does so. Goes down on one leg. But eventually he's knocked down now 38 metres out from the New South Wales goal line. New South Wales just really trying hard now. You've got to give them that. They're digging deep. Mario Fennec has been the best New South Wales forward and uh, he's trying all the way, but there's not much going on in that New South Wales side there. They're cluttered up and passing the ball. Look at this. There's a pass along the ground by Glenn Lazarus, the young player who really should be making every post a winner there now. He hasn't been there during the massacre. He's got to prove that he's got it to be there next time around. Hasler trying hard. You don't expect anything else from him. Sideline eye, Tony Peters. Yeah, Peter, don't let anyone ever tell you this Lang Park experience is character building or character shattering. Nobody in the Queensland side wants to go off. And we've got a forward pass ruled by the referee. It came off young Alexander. Fenny going through, trying to take possession of the ball. But the referee did rule it forward, so a scrum will go down. A metre over the halfway line in New South, South Wales territory. OK, Dale Shearer stretching and Gary, Gary Coyne waiting to come on. But as Tony Peters said, no one wants to go up. Oh. Well, it's a beautiful pass round the back. Gives it out now to Meninga. And Daly working overtime to try and pull him down, but he's put over the touchline. So a scrum now will go down 38 metres out from the New South Wales goal line and 10 metres in from touch. And Meninga getting up off the ground very slowly. There's nothing wrong with him. Just taking an extra uh, breather or so as the scrum is to go down. 
Okay, scrum to go down now, and uh, this New South Wales side completely altered. Des Hasler is in the lock forward position, and uh, I think Chris Mortimer's in the pack there somewhere too. Yes, Alexander now getting it across to Terry Lamb, a cut-out pass to Gary Jack. Jack's got Eddinghausen through the gap and a good uh, striding run too. Belcher comes across, Eddinghausen kicks in field. A good kick, he's been put out of business. The ball bounces one or twice, but again, Queensland come up with the football. A great run, and it was Tony Curry outpaced him, but he made the ball dead in his own in goal. Yeah, good effort there by uh, Tony Curry, that young fellow that uh, that is making his debut for New South Wales. Chris Johns has had a, a pretty strong game here tonight at uh, Lang Park. OK, the replacement on for Queensland, and Gene Miles is going off, and Gary Coyne on, making his debut for Queensland. The Canberra forward, Gary Coyne, and Queensland supporters have got all the coin tonight. And also Lewis. going off uh, for the Queensland side is... Uh, Number two, Alan McIndoe. McIndoe. yeah. And I just noticed Lewis saying something to Chris Johns. He wasn't bagging him. He's saying, don't you knock yourself around. We want you back next week for the Bronx. Yeah, on Sunday, there's the line dropout. And uh, taken by Terry Lamb, chips over the top on the first tackle. Easy for Queensland to soak it up. Yeah, well, Queensland just stood there as a guard. He ran into the backs of three of them. But uh, Greg, I've got to say this. There. I like Terry Lamb as a player. I reckon he's the best support player in the game uh, of rugby league. But... He's found the task against Lewis here before a bit too much, and yep. the same things happened tonight. But in his defence, his forwards haven't been doing just that going forward. Yeah, you can't do anything unless you've got that pack working. Now it's Langer. Again, a long, long cutout pass. Went through the legs of Bobby Linder, but picked up by Tony Curry on the first bounce. Now Curry's got pace galore. Again, now he's got Hancock on the outside. But Alexander, also plenty of pace for the New South Wales side, goes across to pull him down. Dale Shearer at dummy half, gives it across to Langer. He in offloads to Lewis, beautiful pass to Coyne. Coyne looks back, he picks up Shearer, wanting to get into the action, steps Gavin Miller through the gap to Dale Shearer. A man out wide, it's been knocked down, it'll be six if they get it. But it's going to be picked up that time by Des Hasler. And the referee says, play the ball. Des Hasler inside his own quarter line to Ferguson. Ferguson steps one or two. Goes outside his own quarter line to be pulled out 28 metres out from the New South Wales goal line. Greg Dale Shearer has had an absolutely awful season for Manly, and you know Tell a, lot me people, about it. a lot of people think that he's he's likely to be in this Queensland side as a reserve. He comes on and he makes a break the likeness that he hasn't made all season. Vorton's had a fantastic game yeah. for Queensland too tonight, and uh, you know since he got back from uh, England he hasn't been going well. Questions have to be asked. Sideline eye Tony Peters. Yeah, Pete, this is too much even for the New South Wales trainer. Chris Johns has been screaming for some help. No one's coming out to see him. OK. They're probably thinking he's a Queenslander. Yeah, well, he's still screaming for help, as I can see him now. But again, we've got uh, Gary Belcher for Queensland in possession from a kick downfield. He's knocked to the ground, gets up the play it back now to Lewis, who sends it in now to Meninga. He's had a bit of a breather, the big fella. He charges forward. But again, he's pulled down now, 32 metres out from the Queensland goal line. Plays it to Kieran Wallace, gives it across now to Gary Coyne. That's and unbelievable, Greg. Still no support there for Chris Johns, who's got a hamstring injury. A spectator on the sideline said that he was screaming out. Sideline eye, Tony Peters. Peter, I think the the problem is they've used up all the replacements. They he's have. Got, he's got to stay on. They have used them all up, and that's the uh, that's it. They're all on there. Okay, he's got to he's got to stay on, but he can still get some attention, surely. He can have it strapped hey, within about a minute and a half. But uh, this scrum about to go down. Alexander nearly got crushed between it, as the Queenslanders now bore in, and he'll turn around now to straighten up the scrum. Waiting for it to be fed by Alexander for New South Wales. They win it to the Blues. Alexander now tries to set up Gary Jack into the fray, but he's going to be knocked to the ground. Couldn't get his pass back that time to Andrew Eddingshausen, and he's knocked to the ground. Plays it to Alexander, gives it out now to Dunn once again, and Dunn's going to be picked up and driven into the turf. 32 out from the Queensland goal line. Well, Paul Vorton on the sideline now with uh, uh, with Gene Miles, and I think that's a reward for Arthur Beats, and he's just putting uh, everybody on now. Gilmeister, uh, uh, Hagen's on now, Shearer and Coyne, so they're going to soak up the atmosphere atmosphere now at Lang Park, 32 to 6 in favour of the Queensland side over New South Wales and seven minutes left for play here at Lang Park. What a blitzing for the Blues tonight. Mario Fennick now being put down, one tackle left to go to the New South Wales side, 30 metres out from the Queensland goal line. Alexander giving it back to Lamb and again there goes the high kick and there's no percentage in that whatsoever but uh, it's been knocked on both ways but a penalty now to Queensland against Daly saying you were well and truly offside when the ball was picked up Shearer went up for it Peter but the penalty stands back now for the penalty kick and gee whiz they're taking plenty of time Langer throwing the ball over to Wally Lewis Lewis sucking in the air 
and uh, they're just wasting as much time as they possibly can as Lewis comes up now and he kicks for the touch line. The maroon flag of the Queensland touch judge goes up and the free kick now to be taken by Wallace. He gives it back to Gary Coyne. Coyne comes up to Dunn. Dunn now eventually pulls him down a five metres short of the halfway line. He'll get up again to play it back to Wallace. Goes across into the arms of Martin Bella, who's had a blinder for the Maroons tonight. And he's knocked down just short of the halfway line. Six minutes left for play. We'll try and get our sideline eye, Tony Peters, to get Fatty Voughton on the sideline there for the uh, for the uh, Queensland side. And, uh, and, well, it's been a brilliant victory by Queensland tonight. Voughton's played well, but I agree. Martin Bella, a magnificent game. Here's Meninga away again. Oh, he's fanning him up. Swatton flies at a barbecue inside. Now it goes to Gary Belcher. Back now, this time to Michael Hagan. Hagen steps another basketball star pass over the top. Up one a player. Oh, it's a try, but I can't pick it up. Who? Yeah, it's number five. That's Michael Hancock. Hancock. It's Queensland in for another try. Two tries to Hancock. The ball rebounding off Gary Jack. Hancock was there. The referee ruled. Play on. It was a pass over the top from Hagen. Bounced off Gary Jack into the arms of Hancock. And Hancock, with no room to move, has gone in and scored his second try in his State of Origin debut. And Queensland now... 36 to 6 at Lang Park with five minutes left for play. New South Wales, hang your heads, fellas. This has been an absolute lesson in rugby league by the Queenslanders. Well, they're back in there. You can't, what can you say? You've just got to say what you've been uh, mentioning all night. Queensland, just too darn good for this boy, for these boys. Greg, every time they get inside the quarter, Meninga there, an almighty charge from Meninga, and uh, he just raced away from the defence and split the New South Wales side right apart. Great stuff. Isn't it good to see Beetson too, giving all the Queenslanders a chance to walk off this ground with their uh, heads held high. Michael Hagan, a terrific young fellow, plays for the Newcastle Knights. And uh, I think, is that his first maroon jumper, Hagen? Yes, yeah, certainly is. The Winfield, Good on you, Michael. The Winfield man of the match tonight. He won a couple last year. Big Eddie from North Sydney. Martin Bella. Again? He, yeah, he's killed him again, Bella. What a mighty performance. He's the Winfield man of the match tonight here at Lang Park. And he deserves it. He sure does. Now, this kick now from Meninga. What's going to happen? It was from the touchline. They're right underneath the post. Just waved away. Four out of seven. Two out of... Four out of seven for Big Mal Meninga and a tremendous performance by him this, after, this evening here at Lang Park. It's Queensland, 36 to 6 over New South oh. Wales and there are three minutes left for play and we'll get a Queenslander on the sideline shortly as soon as uh, Tony Peters can get near that Queensland bunker. Well, back to the centre of the halfway. Laurie Daly, the youngster from the Canberra club, comes up. He puts the leather downfield. And it's going to be taken that door oh, by Curry. has gone past Shearer too. And also, um, who was that down there in Gary Coyne? So we've got a goal line dropout. So at least the Blues will get possession from this one. It won't do them any good, but uh, the referee now having a look, saying hurry up as the Maroons try to just waste as much time as they possibly can. And why wouldn't you? Lewis is still 10 metres back in the field of play walking up. OK, well, a magnificent performance by Queensland tonight. And, uh, well, Paul Vorton loves state of origin football. He loves that Maroon jumper. He's had a blinder. Fatty. Congratulations. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, it was a good win. Been a great win. Well, it's been an unbelievable win, Paul. For 15 minutes, it was uh, like a game of chess. And uh, once you got that break, little Langer catching uh, New South Wales asleep, and then uh, you just gave it to them. Brilliant running football. Yeah, it was great football, and this side's been together for a long time. I think that makes all the difference. New South Wales had so many new players in their side, and obviously a couple of them didn't handle it. Well, were they stage struck out there, Paul? Paul? They looked a bit, bit stage trace. You can even tell when young Laurie Daly, who is a good player, missed that kick from right in front. A few of us thought, well, a couple of these boys just aren't going to handle it, and it turned out they didn't. Are you boys brothers when you pull on those maroon jumpers? Yeah, we certainly are. We'll, we'd uh, give anything for each other. And I think that's, that does make a difference. The spirit of Queensland has been talked about time and time again, and it's been another great performance. It's great to have blokes like Mel Meninga back in the side. He's one of the side, one of the team. And I thought the new blokes, Danny Staines, had a great tackling performance, and Kerry Wallers and uh, Michael Hancock have had blind. Us. They certainly have, Paul. When you think Meninga played in the first game and Lewis played in the first game, and they've just been so dominating tonight. I mean, it's an unbelievable length of time at the top. Oh, it's so great. I mean, as I said, I think it's the secret of this side that we've all been together, and uh, there's probably uh, 200 games between us, and uh, that is the difference of between the two sides. And I mean, we don't care who they pick next time. Obviously, they'll make a few changes, but uh, there'll be no, no change to this Queensland side, and we can hardly wait for that second one now. 
when they walked onto the field, they looked pretty lackadaisical. They didn't... Uh, what was the idea behind that, do you think? Was there a con act going on? It didn't work. Oh, yeah. Whoever decided to make that move is not a real genius, is he? Because we just thought, who, what are these blokes doing? It's the old... Uh, I don't know if Jack's ever done it before. That's the old Canterbury ploy of just walking out and sauntering out. We were out there G'd up and keen to go, and I think that's, uh, that made a bit of a difference too. They played in your hands too. They talk about being disciplined, but uh, there was no fire and brimstone from them. Oh, there was nothing doing, mate. They were like, they were like feather dusters. Feather dusters. Has this been the easiest state of origin game that you've played in? Oh, probably not. There was one easier back in about 1983. We give them a hiding, but uh, it's been a great win. Full time. What a beauty. Good on you, Paul. Thank you. Paul Gordon. 36 to 6 Queensland. He said it full time. What a beauty. Fatty Gordon calling the New South Wales players feather dusters. Well, there's a slap in the face for the Blues. Martin Bella is the Winfield man of the match. A magnificent performance for Queensland tonight. Some of the mates back in big league in Sydney. Fellas, they were much too good. The statistics of the game in the scrum department. Queensland 7, New South Wales 4 in the penalty department. Queensland 7, New South Wales 4 and the statistics of the game for Queensland tries 2 in their 36 points. Queensland 36, New South Wales 6 and for Queensland 2 tries to Mal Meninga, 2 tries to Michael Hancock, a try to Alan McIndoe, a try to Alan Langer and a try to Bobby Lindner and 4 goals from 7 attempts to Mal Meninga for New South Wales a try to Andrew Eddingshausen and one conversion out of two attempts for Laurie Daly and the Queenslanders standing tall going to the hill area here at Lang Park and absolutely celebrating along with their fans a record, uh, not a record crowd, a sellout crowd of 31,000 tonight and they've seen Queensland really put the cutters through New South Wales. They led 18 nil at half time. They scored 18 points in a nine minute blitz in the first half and they raced away with the game. The man of the match, Martin Bella, and magnificent football by Queensland and uh, they won everywhere tonight. In the backs and in the forwards, it was all Queensland and Bobby Lindner, a tremendous comeback to this Queensland side after a dreadful time with injuries while at Parramatta. He joins us now on the sideline. Bobby, congratulations. Great to be back in the Maroon Jumper. Oh, fantastic, Peter. Uh, especially after a result like this, we got a roll on today and, uh, you know, we're not, we're not predicting anything. I can say from this stage now, when we get together again, we're going to work from scratch and make sure the next game we get the same result. Unbelievable team spirit, Bobby. I know you've missed it while you've been down south. You are a Queenslander. You're back home now, just on the other side of the border. But this must be a fantastic feeling for you to let the selectors know that one Arlinda is still around. Well, mate, that's my intention. And, you know, I'm not going to stop here. As far as I'm concerned, I've just taken a little step forward. And uh, we've got a month left of football before and any sort of Australian team's picked. And uh, it's my goal to, make, you know, to build my performances up in every single performance from here on in. Was it great to be back with the uh, with the old teammates tonight? Certainly was, mate. We've enjoyed this week, and uh, you know. Uh, the media down here were really, uh, really pushing us along, you know, and I thought, well, at the start of the week, I thought this might be a problem with uh, a little bit of complacency or something. But these guys, I think, you know, they may have been together a little bit too long to cop that sort of stuff. It was a great victory. Does the ease of the win surprise you? Well, it wasn't easy. Uh, you know, we did get a roll on, and, of course, that helps. It, um, you know, we get breathers after every lapse in play and things like that. That helps, but it did surprise me. I thought it would be a lot closer. You know, uh, I really can't comment on their performance. I wasn't taking too much notice of their performance. I'm more worried about ours. So, you know, I'll watch the replay and see see how they went. But who cares? We won. You know, look up the scoreboard now. What is it? Uh, 36 30, to 6. 36 to 6. And, you know, a great result. Certainly a great result. Congratulations, Bobby. Thanks for talking to us. Peter. OK, there he is, Bobby Linder. Magnificent stuff by this uh, Queensland side. Queensland, 36 to 6 over New South Wales. And the ease of the victory is told in that score line. It was absolutely fantastic. It was stuff that uh, you could be really proud to watch. And uh, it was uh, it was Queensland all the way. And their captain, 
Wally Lewis had really led from the front again. Wally, a marvellous performance. Congratulations, and uh, you have made State of Origin uh, something like where we see the best of Wally Lewis, a great team performance. That's exactly what it was, mate. It's uh, certainly a team performance. There wasn't one guy that really stood ahead and shoulders above the rest. It was just a marvellous uh, Queensland effort. Wally, it was like a game of chess early. Um, both sides trying to hem the other team in the quarter lines, and uh, both of you did it well. And then Alfie Langer thinking a step ahead everybody, of head, a step ahead of everybody else, and putting on that brilliant first try, and then the floodgates opened. Yeah, they sure did. Uh, I mean, the first one was important, but the, the one that really uh, sealed it for us was the, the third one, the, uh, the little grubber in behind the line. I mean, when you get 18 points ahead in a game like this, you um, you really shouldn't get beaten. And I must agree with one point you had there about the chess game early, and the players were getting sick of it on the field, I can tell you. It was just going from one end of the field to the other, and each team was trying to hem each other into the uh, to the farthest possible corners of the ground and uh, really make it uh, difficult for the, for the other team to get out of that section of the field. Wally, were you guys able to have a free reign and do what you wanted to do? Because you Mate, as soon as they walked onto the field, we, we grabbed our blokes and said, the first thing I said to my blokes were, um, and I'm not telling lies, you can ask any of them, I said to them, uh, we're going to win this game tonight because we're, uh, we're going to play our own style of football. I said, these blokes, none of these blokes have ever walked onto a football field like that before and they're being told to do it. So naturally they're, uh, they're changing their style of football already. And I'm, I, I bet there was a couple of them that didn't agree with it to start with, walking onto the field. And uh, that's something that Queensland will never ever do, change blokes' styles. What is it about that maroon jumper that you guys have, you, you're like absolute a family and when the young fellows come in, you bring them into the fold and kids like Hancock stood 100 foot tall tonight, magnificent stuff and I don't know what you do to Martin Bella when you put him in a Queensland jumper. Yeah, big Eddie Munster, he certainly gets 10 foot tall and bulletproof, doesn't he? He, uh, he gets that uh, gorilla-like growl on his face and... Uh, it mustn't be a pretty side coming the, the opposition, but he's certainly a bloke that has won the last four State of Origin games for us. He just gets us over that advantage line, and you'd know probably as much as anybody else saw the importance of getting over that advantage line. And uh, if, if you're on a forward roll, I mean, you're a long way towards winning the game. Wally, a lot of rumours that, that Mal Meninga may not have been in the first lineup and that you may be stepped in. Can you put some light on that? Chick and George killed them. Yeah, he sure did. Who was supposed to step in? Well, I understood that the team was picked without you and Beetson being aware of it and that, that he may not have been in the first side until you and Arthur had a look at it. Well, the other selectors uh, were just uh, putting forward some names who they, should, they, thought, they thought should be in the side. Um, they came up with about five or six names and they asked uh, Beetson and myself who was the first two we'd pick and we just said Mal and, uh, and TC. And we went out of the room and came out and they were the centres. So. Actually, that, I did hear that rumour before, but it's, it's not quite true. OK, Wally, congratulations. A magnificent effort. And on the form you're playing, I don't think you're going to be able to hang the boots up for a while, mate. They're, uh, they're still going fantastically. And congratulations on a marvellous effort. Thanks, Rob. There he is, Wally Lewis. What can you say about the man? Except that he is a footballing genius. And uh, some of those statements there, I think, will ring pretty true. And I think the most significant point that Wally Lewis made and the difference between New South Wales and Queensland is that... Some of the New South Wales players played a game completely, utterly foreign to them when they walked onto the field. I think that is the most salient point to come out of any interview here tonight at Lang Park, and it came from the King himself, Wally Lewis. Queensland, 36, New South Wales, 6, and I can't believe that. We'll take a break out of Lang Park and be back with a wrap-up. Feel the rugby league action with Hollywood and Zorba on 2GB News Talk 87. If your family is cramped for style, you don't have to go to the expense and hassle of moving house. All Proud Home Improvements will solve your problems with a Flexilum extension. The cool privacy of a screen broom, light and airy patio cover, or a multi-purpose carport, all featuring their exclusive nature light. Ray Shiner's team will measure and quote absolutely free, with Westpac Finance available to approve customers. Visit the All Proud showroom at 900 Canterbury Road, Lakemba, or phone 750-5755 seven days a week. Psst. Holly, there's only one team in town that works longer hours than us. Who's that, Zorb? Don't tell me I know. Come on, Smarty, who? The team at Auto Village. Auto Village Holden, you surprise me sometimes. I have my moments. Auto Village Holden are open every day. And up till eight weeknights, Zorb. You can choose from the complete Holden new car and commercials range. So you'll get the best deal in town. Used cars, too. Auto Village Holden, open every day, 266 Hume Highway, Cabramatta. Your key to quality, right? You ready? Yep, hit it. We love it!
G'day, Wayne Pearce with some great news. Health and fitness have always been top priority to me, and that's where Manchester Unity are so good. I first became a member 25 years ago, and besides the Manchester Unity Health Fund, they offer other benefits like tax-effective blue-chip bonds, low-interest home loans, and low-cost holiday packages. So if you're concerned about your health or wealth, contact Manchester Unity on 285 6000. That's 285 6000. Mr McIntyre? Yes, come in, Jane. Would you like me to run through the details of your Melbourne trip? Ah, yes, good idea. You're on the 8 o'clock flight TAA. OK. With an ETA of 9.15 at Tullamarine. Window seat? 4D. When's the first meeting then? It's a quarter past ten. Is that BHP? No, it's TNT with a 2IC. BHP's at four o'clock. And where to then? Ah, uh, then you're off to lunch. Is that with JB and the new MD? And a local MP and some PR chap. Oh, that reminds me, Jane. Is there something I forgot? RSVP to the AJC, yes. Oh, I did that last week. Now, there's an interview at three. Yes, who's that with? Max Walsh from ABC TV, read BHP. That's right, the meeting starts at four. So that's the law. I don't know what I'd do without you, Jane. Thank you, Mr McIntyre. You're so on the ball. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Well, it's almost five. What would you say to a drink, Jane? I'd say I'd I feel, feel like, like a two -inch. I thought you might. I feel like a two -inch. You're a woman of taste. I feel like a two or two Jane, when did we last review your salary? Welcome back to Lang Park. We're a crowd of 31,000 tonight. Saw so Queensland beat New South Wales by 36 points to six in a seven try to one blitzing of the Blues here at Lang Park. And Greg Hartley, we've had some hidings here, mate, at Lang Park, but that one just about is the daddy of them all. Just the ferocity of the Queenslanders, the ease of it all, uh, and that must send shivers through the New South Wales selectors and the people of New South Wales as we attempt to stop this maroon absolute maroon juggernaut which gives it to us every time we play State of Origin. That is now a five match winning sequence. Yes Peter, they blitzed us last year and on that form we won't, uh, we don't look like even coming up, getting anywhere near them in this second one as uh, Fatty pointed out they're thinking about that already, they can't wait to get down onto the Sydney Football Stadium and they are an awesome outfit Peter, the significant point as uh, Wally pointed out that they knew once they walked out onto that football field that they would change their style of game and that's exactly what happened. We see these players going around every weekend in the Winfield Cup. But gee whiz, there's some uh, dents in a, lot of the, uh, in a lot of the heads down there. And in particular, Peter, after tonight, the selectors, they've really got to have a good look at themselves, the way they select a side. Yes, Greg, it's OK to go for discipline, but yep. you've got to go for more than that. You've got, you we need a bit of blood up players. front. You can't blood players here at Lang Park in Brisbane. That's my opinion. OK, it's been a, a, a terrific performance by Queensland. Let's not take anything away from them. Just repeating, Martin Bella, the man of the match. Brilliant games all round by Queensland. I mean, from Belcher up up the back to, to the little hooker, Kerrod Walters, they were fantastic. He's I mean, there to stay for a long time, Kerrod Walters. Greg, that three-quarter line tonight was magnificent. And... Their five tries came from the three quarters. Yep. Now, that's the, the area that we pinpointed that we couldn't match. But inside, Lewis again, the master and Langer. But Hancock, two tries. Meninga, two tries. McIndoe, a try. It was great. And Tony Curry, who didn't score one. And uh, Wally Lewis and Belcher in the back line. They were great too. Up front, none better than the Winfield man of the match, Martin Bella. Walters, terrific. Dan Staines, I've never seen him play as well. Yeah. Vaughton, fantastic. Miles, almost unstoppable. And Bobby Linder, a great game too. It was just awesome stuff. New South Wales, well done Mario Fennec. Well tried Gavin Miller and uh, I'm afraid Chris John's the only other player that I can give a rap to. Completely outplayed, overawed and this tonight was far lap and radish and uh, it really was a blitzing. To our listeners through 2GB in Sydney, 1ZB in Auckland, 2HD in Newcastle, in Moree, 2VM, in Dubbo, 2DU, TBS in Bathurst, 2 Triple FM in Canberra, 2RG in Griffiths, Peter Peters on behalf of the team here at Lang Park. Thanking you for your company. Hope we've got it. Second State of Origin match out of the Sydney Football Stadium. And let's hope that the game is a lot closer than this one tonight. Queensland roll on. New South Wales 
well, they ought to audition for new faces because they look like it tonight. They look like the pupils against the masters. And we've learnt another lesson here at Lang Park. Lang Park tonight, and Wally Lewis is still the emperor, very much so. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for our sponsors. Beaut sponsors too in Manchester Unity, Tui's All Proud Home Improvements and Auto Village Holden. Peter Peters on behalf of the entire team, thanking you for your company. Hope we've got it next time the big men go round. Follow your team with Hollywood and Zorba on 2GB News Talk 87. G'day, John Derham here. This Saturday you can discover your ancestors, hear actors bring books to life, watch award-winning Australian films and find lost treasure because this Saturday is Open Day at the State Library of New South Wales. You'll see clowns and street entertainers enjoy the library's licensed bistro and visit the marvellous Captain Cook exhibition. There's a swag more and it's mostly free. So come along to the State Library of New South Wales Open Day this Saturday from 10am to 5pm at the library in Macquarie Street. 2GB News Talk 87. Macquarie National News. It's 27 past nine. Good evening, I'm Ian Ferguson. Well,